Hi everyone. Today we're going to draw honey and bunny. So let's make honey first. Start with making a flat circle like that. Then on the top we'll make two pointy ears. Make a zigzag shape along the sides for his whiskers. And make a nice sloping mouth. This is going to be his beautiful smile. Button nose at the center. And then we're going to draw his cheeks because he's going to be smiling. And draw nice round eyes coming up. Oops, I think we should bring this a little closer. The dark part of the eyes as well. And a smile. Now we've got to make his collar because he has a little label. No, it's not a label. It is a. It's an H around his neck. Just in case we forget what his name is. So it's a hint. And then just bring down his shoulders from both sides. Make a shape like so. And behind this shape is how you'll draw his fingers. One, two. And finish the body. And cute legs like so and feet now both honey and bunny are cats so we have to have a lovely tail a nice bushy tail for honey I'm sure we can make the same for bunny as well Now you can make your drawing in pen. So choose a pen which is waterproof so that you can paint over it. And now when you're making this in pen, you can make all sorts of adjustments. So here's how I'm going, how I'm going to draw this. First I'm going to draw the ears. So a line from the inside. And then a line coming to the top, a little fold over here and join. And the whiskers are drawn in such a way that they look a little curved. Otherwise they can look a little funny and we can reduce this as well. So if something like that happens, I have a trick I'm going to show you at the end. If you make these kinds of mistakes in your drawing, how you can still make your drawing look good. We have a nice trick up our sleeves. So stick around right till the end and I'm going to show you. So this is how you can draw in pencil and then make a final illustration in pen and make it look good. Always make rough sketches. So you don't make too many mistakes because nobody likes to see a picture that has too many mistakes, right? I'm going to make some adjustments over here. I think his eyes can be a lot bigger. So I'm going to move his mouth slightly lower and make really big eyes, so big cheeks and big eyes like this. So big eyes on our cartoon characters are going to make them look cute. When you make the eyes, keep a little bit of a dot in white. That's going to be the reflection. That's going to make the eyes look like they're real eyes. 
and a reflection on the nose as well that's called a highlight there's something that we haven't drawn and that's his stripes I hope you guessed that so here are the stripes now this is what will make him look like a proper cat We also have stripes from the rest of his body. And now let's make a nice white smile slightly lower. Now before you paint, you can take your eraser and erase the lines that you don't want seen in your picture after it's painted now you can use whatever colors you want you can use sketch pens you can use uh, crayons you can use watercolor and now all you do is match the colors do you know what color honey is if you said yellow then you are right now carefully paint just the top of his face in a nice yellow color. You can use paint, you can use crayons, you can use um, color pencils, you can use sketch pens, anything you want, whatever you're comfortable with. If you're painting, make sure that you paint in one direction, paint slowly make sure that your brush is taken care of when you're painting if you run out of paint dip your brush in water first and then in your cake and then paint only till the brush is nice and wet if it becomes dry then go ahead and dip in some water and then bring more paint out now the next color that we're going to do is the red locket and that's going to be on his neck so make sure that the yellow paint around it around his body has dried up otherwise all this red is going to run right into the body of honey's honey's cat body now that all my color has dried up i'm going to use a little bit of orange to make these lovely stripes i love cats with stripes Now remember we are making stickers out of this these stickers are going to be completely environment friendly we are not going to use plastic and if you want you can use a very environment friendly glue as well now once your design is done what are we going to do with all these mistakes you've made especially on the outside now here's the trick i use since my painting is done now, I'm going to put my colors away and I'm going to make a line around my character which is very thick. So I'm just making a silhouette around my character and I'm trying to make it the same distance away out now that our design is ready we can cut out our design and make a sticker out of it now before you cut it here as well you can make a line to decide where you want to cut out your character now let's cut this up now if you are not comfortable 
with using a scissor please use the help of an adult a grown-up the best way to cut out a sticker like this is to first cut around the shape and make it small that way you can handle it better there we go and now you can stick it wherever you want if you have um, a box you really like or if you have a book you can stick it on your book and then everyone knows this is my book i hope you make all the other stickers make a sticker for bunny make a sticker for balu and fill up your entire room with honey and bunny stickers and i'll see you next time bye